and welcome back everyone uh we're back on scourgecraft today well oh uh, uh the all all you missed at the moment was me making a bunch of stone picks so i could carve out some niche a niche in this wide tunnel i've been digging out for a farm because i keep running low on food and i can use food Especially with how hostile this is going to get. Don't get me wrong, folks. What you see is not what you're getting. Because I've been getting extremely lucky not running into some one or another uh, divine RP RPG mod. That is the only reason I haven't been kicked in me bum by them. Uh, that's K texting me on Skype. One moment. Alright, and we're back. Uh, hope that wasn't too long, folks. Anyways. As you can see, I've dug out a nice, large... Well, a nice and small niche. I don't need a lot of food. I just need enough to scoop me through. Once we start digging into Pam's craft, I'll start making my pandit super farms. That'll be fun, won't it? Anyways, now we're gonna dig down one. I'm going to show you just how I make those farms that I've made for me and Kay on our series. Now, uh, the trick it to them is that a water block will actually uh, irrigate up to four blocks in any of the four cardinal directions. Which is this way, this way, this way, and this way. It will also water any blocks this way, this way, this way, and this way. Basically the diagonals. My uh, trick is that I'll either leave like lines of water or pockets of water, which will allow me to maximize the growing space and minimize the water space. That'll allow us to uh, get the maximum amount of food in the minimum amount of space. That's the first stone pick dead. The reason I'm using stone picks and not my iron pick is because I still haven't found any iron. And I'll kill myself before I have to waste any more. We'll start with just laying down dirt. We'll go back to our chest to get more dirt. Yes, that's why I'm digging such a long tunnel. This I plan on just making a foyer and an entrance to the mines, which I'll probably have to add door to at some point or another. Uh, dirt. Plenty of it. Got it. Uh, the reason, another reason we want this farm is because Pam's Harvest Craft adds a lot of foods. A lot of foods which will be quite desirable. Because they hiccup, heal a lot. Alright, let's count. Using dirt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not even. One, two, three, four. That means the water should be going here. We've got to dig two more out this way. I know I've dug in six, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Punch out this gravel. Torch glitch. Oh, that was all of it. All right. I'm off by one again. Ugh. All right. Now then, I know this is a lot of just digging at the first po mo at at the moment, folks. But trust me, we just. Really, really want to have the food source set up in advance. It'd be very desirous to do that. One, two, he. One, two, he. I'll probably have to add like a rock chandelier, like I do for my usual farms. But that's no, that's no hard feat. It's rather easy, especially since we have walls and stuff. All right, 
Now then, my, if my theory works, I should be able to irrigate all this dirt after just filling that point with water. Uh. Oh. Crud! I just realized I need a bucket. Shit. Uh. Well, there's another trick we can use, but it just won't grow as fast. It'd be to quickly seed up the area without the water. Or the easiest method would be to find a bucket. Or do I have a bucket? Let's check. I don't remember. It's been a while since we've la uh, since I last recorded. The reason I'm knocking out the ceilings three high is because I want to be able to sprint run everywhere. Even though it's bad for my food. I'd rather be able to get away. What the hell is this? And there's this, there's this little feature of digging three high because you'll find stuff you didn't think you'd find. What is this anyways? Phosphorus? Phosphorus? Isn't phosphorus used in like fireworks? Guess we'll see sooner or later. Anyways, uh, there's some tin, two gold. It'd be uh, a little more economical to use four sticks. Ah, and yes, I did remember that I had the meteor, folks. I just need more iron to use it for the pick. I don't know what sink does either. Stretchy, stretchy, get a drink. Anyways, we'll need to find more iron. As at the moment, we could use gold, but it would not last us very long. But And we couldn't use it for the recipe. And I forgot to check for a bucket. Well, let's see what we can make a bucket out of. Oh, we could use bronze? How do we make bronze? I don't care about the shapeless crafting. How do we get bronze dust, copper, and tin dust? How do we make dust? Is there like macerator? No. Well, I've got tin, I've got... Oh, the lighting got very atmospheric all of a sudden. I was worried for a moment. Alright. Uh, we've got tin. We've got copper and spades. Do we just like... I don't quite know how to make it into dust. Is there like a crusher? Oh! Interesting. We'll ninja this. And these. So, uh... There's a wisp outside my house. Hopefully it's outside my house. Oh, is it skeleton? I haven't been able to find him. He's just been like rattling away, driving me mad. Okay, so let's see if this crusher will do us any good. Let's see, coal. Or a steak. Coal! Because apparently, sticks do about jack. Okay, so we can use bronze to get a bucket. Perhaps even use bronze to get a uh, one, two, three. We could probably, if I recall correctly, bronze also makes for a very good uh, iron pick. 
which interests me greatly. So, our lich pin at the moment is we need ten. Yes, we have plenty of ten as well. Good. I was worried there for a second. Remember, two blocks of wood will equal three items. Four sticks will equal two items. And that'll allow you to save up on coal for things like this. Which chew through it like crazy, apparently. We'll probably make another furnace. And another crusher. Since we have those resources in spades. I bet you that they'll all do all the ores. And that uh, steel, bronze, and... Steel, copper, bronze, and iron crushers will just work faster. That's my bet. And now we wait. Or I could go mining. Just, yeah, that's right. Just chuck the copper you've been working so hard for on the floor. Nobody will notice a mind except for yourself. Ugh. All right, now then we're gonna get to some smelting because these ores are beginning to just fill in the chest. Yeah, um, every time we die, we apparently get one of these. I'll probably make a shelf of these to show how many times I've died. Those are slow as beans, man. Or sticks to every four or I mean every two or we'll have to waste some wood here but 